An accused predator is now in the Benton County Jail, but investigators think he may have more victims in other counties. Coming up, the information that deputies are now asking for. And we're tracking gusty winds and warmer temperatures on the way. I'll get to all the details in your first alert weather forecast. I'm Emily Goodell with Apple Valley News Now. More than 100 third graders at the Kittitas County Fairgrounds for Elementary Agriculture Appreciation Day. Here to get a taste of where their food really comes from. That's coming up. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner and I'm Austin Reed. Tuesday night. Here we go. Training to save lives on the water. That is the goal of a statewide learning symposium taking place on the Columbia River in Kennewick for the next three weeks. Only Apple Valley News now got a behind the scenes look at what's being taught this year. As a train passes over the Columbia River on a sunny Tuesday afternoon, they have to do other duties besides a boat patrol. These deputies, 21 to be exact, and many of them brand new, are now in class. So uh, I'm a retired deputy of 30 years with Thurston County Sheriff's Office, and I've been teaching marine law enforcement stuff for many years. Talk about what we are doing on day one of being on the water. Okay, day one of being on the water, what you're seeing out here is all students are in their boats and they're practicing what we call close quarter boat control. There will be three different courses for three different groups. Each course, 44 hours in total. When it comes to, you know, hypothermia, you're not going to find any probably body of water in this state that's not going to that's not going to set in within a very short period of time. Right. From Lincoln and Pierce counties to Spokane, Kittitas County to Walla Walla and everywhere in between. These men and women are striving to be the best they can be when it comes to water safety. I work for the Walla Walla County Sheriff's Office. My official title is Chief Criminal Deputy. Well, living in the Tri-Cities, you know, all of our counties are surrounded by water. It's cold water and it's moving water. Boating safety is imperative that we can reach out to the community. The fact that you're conducting this interview is a big, big deal to us. Decades ago, law enforcement chose the Tri-Cities for this statewide training session, and that's for good reason. I'm from the west side of the state. One nice thing about coming over here, we usually have some nicer weather, right? It's real, real nice to do it here, and we get a little bit of variety of air. You know, we're in a river, obviously. We're on the Columbia River, but we've got some slow water in here. Then we work on current out here and, and go over things. So we get a little variety here, and it's just kind of a really nice area to come and train. Also happening this week, water rescue, tactical boat operation, basic boat search, and waterborne operations. As you can imagine, everybody is staying quite busy. You know, if you look at the Snake River that borders between Franklin and Walla Walla, that, that water is regulated by dams. It's a little bit different than what's coming down the Columbia River because we don't hit those dams as frequently. And for Jeff Norton, one of the instructors this year, he tells me that he lives on the west side of the state, but says sober boat driving, wearing a life vest, and knowing what your boat is capable of doing goes a long way. You know, be safe out there. That's why we, we strategically plan these in April and May because, as you know, the boating season starts usually around Memorial Day weekend, and that's when people first pull their boats out. They haven't been around their boats forever. Now, this Thursday, crews will be performing scenario training, so if you are on the water and notice an increased police presence, now you know. It's always kind of fun to see them out on the water yeah. doing those drills. Yeah, and you know they really, one thing, the big takeaway, they care. That's so. true. Yes. And That's was, why you get into the business, I think. Uh, I think so, yeah, uh, hopefully. <laughs> um, it was windy out today. Very true. <laughs> but uh, is that going to be the story? going through the rest of the night. Still windy tonight, guys. Yes, very windy. And speaking of the river, the river water temperature is somewhere in the mid and upper 40s, low 50s. So it's still very, very cold, running fast from the runoff from uh, the snow melt. So want to be careful around those rivers. Winds, yes, we've been dealing with that throughout the afternoon, and we're continuing to see those strong gusty winds uh, right through the Yakima Kittitas Valley into the Columbia Basin. A little bit lighter here in the Tri-Cities, but still seeing strong gusty winds, and we'll continue to see so. Now, we do have a wind advisory for the Kittitas Valley, 25 to 35 miles sustained winds. I've been seeing gusts 
45 plus throughout the day and they'll, they're continuing to blow, but things will calm down. Getting ready for the Dust Devil season opener tonight. Dust Devil Sky Cam 69 degrees. If you're heading out to the game, do bring a jacket because those breezy winds make the temperature feel a little bit cooler. Winds right now 16 miles an hour. Partly cloudy, breezy conditions tonight, but those winds will start to decrease overnight. Get ready for a sunny day Wednesday. Grab those shades and get ready for a pretty nice day overall and that gradual warm up into the weekend. I'll give you all the stats coming up here. My first alert full weather forecast. Austin, Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. We have new information tonight about the investigation into a 37 year old Benson County man who's accused of kidnapping and raping someone younger than 18 last month. Now he is currently behind bars, but the Benton County Sheriff's Office now says they're concerned that Jose Marcelo Bustos may have done the same thing to other people also younger than 18 in Yakima County and in Grant County. Investigators are looking for any other potential victims right now. So if you or the children in your life were involved with this man or communicated with him on social media, the Benton County Sheriff's Office is asking you to give Detective Hart a call or send a message over email. All of that information is there on your screen. We also have it on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. An update tonight, the second of two men who distributed large amounts of meth and fentanyl across our area will spend the next 10 years behind bars. 36 year old Jesse Lee Johnson pleaded guilty to conspiracy to distribute 500 grams or more of meth. And today a judge sentenced him to 120 months in federal prison followed by five years of supervised release. Investigators say Johnson helped another man sell pounds of meth and hundreds of fentanyl pills from a home in Sela. Johnson's co-defendant, Ronald Lee Ralston, was sentenced in February to more than 11 years in prison and five years of supervised release after that. Washington's battle over gun control continues. This week, a Superior Court judge ruled that Washington's ban on large capacity magazines, which hold more than 100 rounds of ammunition, is unconstitutional. But the state Supreme Court granted an emergency stay on that ruling, which means the large magazine ban will stay in place for now. So you're still allowed to own large magazines in Washington, but you can't buy or sell them. And Attorney General Bob Ferguson, who is currently also running for governor, filed a lawsuit last year against a gun seller in Western Washington, saying the seller was still offering these large magazines despite the law that Governor Inslee signed back in 2022. The gun seller responded by claiming that the law was unconstitutional. Now again, a Superior Court judge did agree this week, but the state Supreme Court stepped in and put that decision on hold. More than 100 third graders from across Kittitas County, well, they actually headed to the fairgrounds today for the 21st annual Elementary Agriculture Appreciation Day. That's a mouthful. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell followed the students as they gained some new experiences they wouldn't have had otherwise. In a heavily agricultural county, one would think that most of the kids have experience with livestock and farm equipment, but organizers and volunteers tell me that's not the case. 20 years ago, high school kids went and got jobs on farms in the summertime or even during school. And, and now with the technology and, and larger equipment and those kind of things, those those jobs aren't there for those um, kids to go get that, that experience. Mark Crowley with the Kittitas County Conservation District says there's also more kids now coming in from big cities who have even less exposure to agriculture. And it's a problem. Kids don't know where their food comes from. People don't equate a cow in the field to the burger they got at McDonald's. That's why Ag Day is all about teaching them how food moves from farm to table. We have a farm equipment station, we have an agricultural technology station, a station on apples, a livestock station, a horse station, and a beef and brand station, noxious weeds, and germ city. Staffed mostly by older students involved in agricultural activities. Volunteers like 17 year old Jessa Thomas. My favorite part is probably allowing the kids who haven't got a chance to touch or even meet a horse the opportunity to. I'm teaching younger kids about why horses are important and used on farms, as well as trying to make it fun and educational. For kids like nine year old Leela Faye Youngward a third grader at Ellensburg Christian School. I learned that cows can swim. I did not know that. And I didn't know that they attack people. I didn't know that either. So I learned a lot. Information that's not just interesting, but could be crucial in the future. Why is it so important for them to know where their food comes from? 
well, they're going to be voters someday. And if they're voting for things that destroy agriculture or destroy the process of getting that food, they're going to end up hungry. We have more information about the event, how it's put together, and photos of all the fun on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Reporting in Ellensburg, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thanks, Emily. Now, during the legislative session, District 16 Senator Perry Dozier did propose a bill that would have made agricultural education mandatory for Washington students from 7th through 12th grade, but that bill did not advance in time to become law this year. Well, it is an end of an era. Today, the new owners of Clover Island Inn in Kennewick began their operations. Apple Valley News Now took a trip to the old hotel today where staff tell us Hilton is now in charge. But this will be what's called Spark by Hilton. It's a more basic economy version of the overall Hilton brand. Clover Island Inn was built back in 1977. Workers say the old signage will be up for a bit longer and renovations won't begin until after summer. No word yet if the restaurant on the fourth floor will still be a thing after renovations. We also don't know what the plans are for current employees. Well, as we mentioned earlier, we're seeing some very windy conditions out there this evening, but it is warming up. Stacey Leah talking about that coming up in your first alert forecast. We'll be right back. Six o'clock bogey. Did you say burger? Because I can go for a burger. I'm not talking about burger. Roger that. Fire now. Need burger? Get burger. Spicy Western bacon cheeseburger. Only at Carl's Jr. Have you heard about refractive lens exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently and you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers, K2 Vision RLE. Native Americans serve in the military at a higher percentage than any other group. My name is Stephanie Stoops. I'm a Navy veteran. I'm enrolled in the Kalispell tribe. I always knew that I was depressed. Even the thought of opening up to anybody is so scary, but it's so necessary. Healing from traumatic experiences has allowed me to actually explore who am I, because I actually like me. The average family throws out $1,500 of food every year. That's a lot. Imagine what you could do with extra cash. There are simple ways to reduce your food waste and increase your savings. It starts with a plan and ends with a little creativity. Like turning your unused food into something new. Get tips to reduce food waste and make your dollar go further. Know the cost, use food well. Visit the website to learn how. Hi, I need new tires. Perfect timing. Right now during our tire savings event, when you buy three tires, you get the fourth for only a dollar. Wow, that's a great deal. Right? Can you imagine finding a tire for less? Sorry, honey. Mama needs a tire. No, definitely not. No. Let's get you those tires. Okay. Right now, during our tire savings event, buy three tires and get the fourth for only a dollar. Toyota Service Centers. Keep your Toyota a Toyota. Sorry, guys. That took me for... What is this? Well, you know how our T-Mobile home internet can slow down? Uh-huh. Turns out, walls can get in the way. So, I fixed it. So instead of getting a Spectrum internet, which is fast and reliable 24-7, you got us internet that can be blocked by walls. Yes, but I think I fixed it. By smashing a hole through our wall. Well, technically, walls. Yeah, I might not want to go in the dining room. Don't settle for T-Mobile cell phone internet. Give the natural. This is why I don't leave the house. Get faster, more reliable internet speeds with Spectrum. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid with the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Stop thinking, let things happen, and be the ball. Better yet, see the ball with K2 Vision RLE. K2 Vision RLE. No readers, glasses, contacts, or cataracts. Yeah! Oh boy, look at that Carl's Jr. burger. Bacon, jalapenos, beef, cheese, bacon, beef. Five dollars on the app? What? Another burger? Lettuce, cheese, melty, delicious pickle. You gotta be kidding! Barbecue, soft drip, crunchy onion rings. Five dollars? I'm burger rich! Need burger? Get burger! Yeah! Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest. Sponsored by Wendemere Group One. 
Welcome back to Apple Valley News Now, live at 6. April is National Organ Donation Awareness Month. Nationwide, more than 100,000 people are waiting for potentially life-saving transplants. But sometimes finding a match happens in unusual ways. Here in the Tri-Cities, Jody Gerritsen saw a Facebook post from a person she had went to high school with, saying they were in need of a kidney donation. Gerritsen says she reached out and got tested, and she found out she actually was a match. I was relieved because I was afraid that I might have wasted his time if um, I wasn't a match that anyone else that was willing, you know, they had to wait. So I was, I was really relieved. I, I was excited because I was, I, I put my mind to it that that's what I wanted to do. And I don't know why, I just kind of expected that it would turn out that way. I just thought that, like I said, when I saw the post, I thought this is probably what I was prepared to do all this time. This is just one success story amid an enormous nationwide need. Yeah, Mandy Gaither reports right now there are more than 103,000 men, women, and children on the National Transplant Waiting List. It was a record year in 2023. Organ donors saved more than 46,000 lives, a new milestone in the U.S. Unfortunately, it's not enough. As we speak today, there's more than 100,000 people awaiting uh, organ transplant. Dr. Bashar Akel with Mayo Clinic says it's important to know that another person is added to the organ transplant waiting list every eight minutes in the U.S. and 17 people die waiting for an organ every day. We always can change those dynamics. You know, we can help more people receive the life organ transplant by becoming organ donors. The doctor says every donor can save up to eight lives, while a single tissue donor can impact the lives of as many as 75 people, and a kidney or part of a liver can be donated while the donor is still alive. The donor usually maintains their quality of life, and interestingly enough, the liver will regrow back to its normal size within less than 90 days. Finally, innovative technology is helping more people than ever get a life-saving transplant. One of those new technologies is what we call organ perfusion, or some people have known this as an organ in a box. This applies to the liver, to the kidney, as well as to the heart which allowed us to deliver life-saving organ transplant to more and more people. Anyone interested in becoming an organ donor can sign up online at organdonor.gov backslash sign up. You can also register in person at your local motor vehicle department. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. And if you have an iPhone, it's even easier. You can register through the Health app. That'll send your information to a national computer system. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. Well, the big weather news today, of course, has been the strong gusty winds, and we're still seeing those into the evening. Ellensburg still very windy, been tracking some gusts 45 plus miles per hour. Still windy tonight in Yakima. Things are starting to calm down slightly into the Columbia Basin and Tri-Cities, and we'll see that uh, as we move through the night. Here's our future cast. Again, those winds start to finally calm down by about 10 o'clock tonight. Still a little breezy in Yakima. Getting into our day tomorrow, light breezy winds through the area, but much nicer than we had to deal with today and should stay that way pretty much all day tomorrow. Now, another thing we're dealing with is high pollen counts due to those winds, juniper, poplar, alder, all blooming. Everything's out there. Those uh, uh, pollen counts are well into the tens. That's in the high to very high category. We'll drop down slightly, but still high, uh, medium high there for the next uh, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. We might start to see those pop back up right now. Legends Casino Sky Cam showing us 69 degrees winds at 16 miles an hour and our humidity at 25%. Overall, a nice evening, just a bit breezy. So if you're heading out to that Dust Devils game tonight, you'll want to grab a coat. Other temperatures around the region were in the 40s and 50s in the Kittitas Valley. Uh, lower to mid 60s in the Yakima Valley, moving into the Columbia Basin, still sitting in the upper 60s, and we're in the low 60s and even 50s here along the foothills of the Blues and those breezy winds continue. Now the weather pattern is going to change. This upper level system will start to move a little bit more uh, to the north 
uh, and to the south. So that'll move out all that moisture we saw across the Cascades and the west side of the state today, giving us clear skies as we move in to our Wednesday tomorrow. So look for some sunshine. Going to grab those shades because you're going to need them. Now we have a few clouds floating around tonight, but overall clear skies. Winds decreasing temperatures in the 30s, mid to upper 30s here in the foothills of the Blues. We're in the upper 30s overnight tonight in the Columbia Basin and the lower 30s as you move up the Yakima and into the Kittitas Valley. So not a bad looking night all all, all around for tomorrow. Again, sunny. Grab those shades. Going to need them. Going to be beautiful out there and those winds will definitely cooperate with us tomorrow. Most everybody in the 60s planning your day. Look at those nice light winds. Lots of sunshine to start your day in Yakima 39 at the bus stop in the Tri Cities. We'll hit 43 degrees. Winds nice and light looking good. It'll stay sunny most of the day. A few clouds coming in by the evening. Walla Walla 44 to start your morning there and those winds much improved uh, than you had to deal with all day today. And in Hermiston, look for lots of sunshine to start your day there. 43 out the door with temperatures warming up to the mid to upper 60s, flirting with 70 degrees. Tri-Cities in Yakima tomorrow looking good. Here comes those clouds moving in as we have another system moving through the area. Temperatures remain warm, slight chance of rain. Above average, check out Saturday. We're close to 80 degrees in the Columbia Basin and Tri-Cities. Then we'll see another system move in uh, about the first part of next week. Mostly going to see showers that we have a chance of showers there Friday, about 50% chance and possibly some thunder and lightning to go along with that with those warmer temperatures above average Saturday for both uh, the Hermiston area as well as Walla Walla. So not a bad looking forecast all the way around. Lots more to get to tonight. Stay with us, Austin, Alyssa. Thanks, Stacey. And up next on Apple Valley News Now, we are learning more about the whistleblower claims against Boeing made by an engineer earlier this year. Thinking I should bring back my 100% all white meat popcorn chicken combos for $6.99? You're in luck. I did. If you weren't thinking that, I bet you are now. My popcorn chicken combos are only $6.99. Get them sauced and loaded for just a buck more. Welcome to Jack in the Box. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Life can be hard. <coughs> with Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to experience the clairvoyance. Friday, June 21st, Legends Casino Hotel Toppenish. Featuring never-before-seen mental magic and spectacular illusions. With a special appearance by Mr. Coney Hondini, the world's first mind-reading dog. Friday, June 21st, 8 p.m., Legends Casino Hotel Toppenish. Tickets at Ticketmaster and Legends Casino Gift Shop. Experience the clairvoyance live. With our new Grocery Outlet app, you can see the store's inventory. So you guys really have mangoes in stock? Yep. Huh. Well, what about frozen peach? Here they are. Fresh salmon. Too easy. Coffee. Yep. See what's in stock. Download our app. Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful customer arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique, and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. Hit by a big truck in bad weather? There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Knowing these laws sets my truck wreck team apart. How much are Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter? Big truck insurance companies know that we have the knowledge and experience to get you paid everything you deserve. Hit by a big truck? Our team knows truck wrecks and how to win for you. How much are Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter? The heavy hitter is one for you. Call 853 Introducing the best rated burger in fast food, my new Smash Jack. A quarter pound smashed patty with perfectly imperfect edges, melty cheese, and new boss sauce on a soft brioche bun. Just one bite and you'll have a new favorite burger. Try it today. Welcome to Jack in the Box. 
I'll come back. More trouble for Boeing tonight as the FAA says it's investigating claims made by a whistleblower who came forward in January. So the Boeing engineer says the company took shortcuts on its 777 and 787 Dreamliner jets. He's warning that could become catastrophic as these planes get older. Boeing in response said the claims about the structural integrity of the 787 Dreamliner are inaccurate. Didn't address claims about the 777. Now the engineer also says that Boeing has retaliated after he filed his whistleblower complaint. The FAA says it will carefully investigate all of those concerns. Locally tonight, the Benton County Board of Commissioners held a special meeting today to talk about the future of animal control after sheriff's deputies killed two large dogs that were running loose in Kennewick. We've got some of the results of that meeting coming up in the next five minutes on Apple Valley News Now. Stay with us. Hello there. Watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. When you've been representing accident victims as long as Alan has, you develop a certain sense of confidence and expertise. Word spreads. People know and trust you. Insurance companies take you seriously. It takes hard work to earn a good reputation. The road can be a crazy place. Pothole. That's why Les Schraub Tires fixes brakes, steering, and more. And those guys don't. Ugh, keep driving. I'm just glad Les Schraub puts my safety first, so I can backseat drive with confidence. Right now, during our spring tire sale, save up to $80 on select sets of four tires. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. From Paris to Milan, New York to Tokyo, fashion shows have graced the world's most glamorous stages. And now, the world is turning its eyes to the Tri-Cities for the 2024 Goodwill High School Fashion Show. They've got like major style, endless creativity, and seriously, they've got like an enormous amount of heart, you guys. Don't even think about missing the fashion event of the year. Goodwill's 2024 High School Fashion Show. See you at the show. My family's been serving the Tri-Cities for 85 years at Griggs and the Tri-Cities Ace stores. And we have some deals we don't want you to miss. Choose from these long-handled garden tools at only $19.99. Miracle Grow Garden Soil save 42%. Two bags for $10. This premium garden hose is a steal at $29.99. Triple 16 fertilizer, the lowest price around, only $24.88. See all of the deals by using this QR code. So come see us at Griggs and your Tri Cities A stores and thank, thank you, you for your business. business. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families. A legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F Series America's best selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Lock in a six year rate. Get 1.9% APR for 72 months on a 2023 F 150 only at your local Ford dealer. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus, get zero down and 0% APR for 84 months or up to $2,800 off select Kubota tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. <laughs> Are you looking for a bank that has traditional values and modern solutions? Are you looking for a bank that is member owned? Are you looking for a bank that leaves a lasting impact on the community? I've got news for you. You're not looking for a bank. Belong to something better. Join Hapo Community Credit Union where you are more than just a member. Visit hapo.org to join today. Where do you credit union? is here and that means everyone is geared toward outdoor fun but as our activity levels increase so do our chances for having an accident this message is brought to you by Allen Brecky law offices representing the rights of accident victims well an update tonight officials say the winning ticket to Saturday's 1.3 billion dollar Powerball jackpot was sold at this Portland store so we're told the winner has come forward but lottery officials are still in the process of vetting them and putting security measures in place. Not at all clear what that means. The store will get a $100,000 bonus though for selling that winning ticket.
Well, we are continuing to follow the extremely breezy conditions this <laughs> evening. Stacy Lee has a look at the numbers coming up. Plus, we're getting the results of a special meeting of the Benton County Board of Commissioners talking about animal control and concerning news developing in North Idaho. An 18-year-old now facing federal charges accused of plotting a terrorist attack. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. This afternoon, the Benton County Board of Commissioners held a special meeting to discuss what the canine shelter needs and where the funding might come from. This is something that's been a very hot topic after sheriff's deputies shot two dogs that were running loose in Kennewick. The commission chair says the meeting today was just a chance for the board to talk about improving animal control in the county. They did not open public comment but did hear from the canine shelter officials about some of the ways that the commissioners could help them improve. The canine shelter proposed three options for the commissioners to consider. The chairman says one option did stick out to him, the most out of the three at least. Seems like the other two commissioners and myself, we all kind of like that option three, where we'll um, hire more employees uh, to have a 24 seven animal shelter and then um, expand the shelter so it has more capacity uh, for, for dangerous dogs, but also uh, loose dogs at large too. Now, as for the funding, the commissioner chair says they will ensure that the animal shelter has the funding needed to make these improvements. Now, as we mentioned, they did not open public comment at the meeting this afternoon. However, this morning at the regular commission meeting, a resident did raise the issue once again this morning. Last December, Benton County negotiated a $1.6 million settlement with a family from Crosser because the Benton County Sheriff's Office failed to address two and a half years of complaints about a pack of dangerous dogs resulting in three months after sheriff's deputies get called out for two loose Rottweilers who are a family's pets and have never shown signs of aggression. There has to be a solution to this. It lies somewhere between doing nothing and killing any dog that gets out of a chair. And we have more details at applevalleynewsnow.com. I was just about to say okay. that. We've been covering this since yeah. the beginning. Monique Ledesma is doing a great job. Mm -hmm. So definitely check out that coverage. But we do need to switch gears and talk about all of the wind we're seeing out there, Stacy. It's going to be a breezy night. I've been watching uh, the Dust Devils. They were lined up, probably doing the national anthem up. Here they go. <laughs> just starting to take the field. So yes, this is the big home opener tonight. They're playing Spokane 69 degrees. Yes, it's windy out there, but a great night for baseball. Look at the clear skies. Going to be a beautiful night for viewing that if you're headed out that way. Do grab your coat. We still are seeing those breezy winds, mainly in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley uh, down into Prosser, and then we start to lighten up, and those winds will continue to decrease as the evening moves on. Partly cloudy, breezy, winds decreasing. It's going to be a sunny Wednesday. Grab your shades. Looking great outside. Gradual warm up as we get through the night. Let's look at those temperatures as we cruise through. As of course, after it gets dark, we drop down into the 50s in Yakima. Tri Cities down to 54 by 9. So good viewing for that Dust Devil game. In Walla Walla, those temperatures in the 50s by 7, 51 by 9. And in Hermiston, those temperatures dropping down to 53. So a good looking night out there. Grab your coat and go Dust Devils, guys. All right, Stacy, thank you. Developing news from North Idaho tonight. Federal authorities have arrested an 18 year old accused of plotting terrorist attacks on churches. Now, the Department of Justice says the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force arrested him just hours before those planned attacks were supposed to start. ABC's M. Wynn has the details. Today's threats are moving at a faster and faster clip. Today's terrorist threats are moving at the speed of social media. The FBI says 18-year-old Alexander Macario, seen here with a knife in his hand, is an alleged ISIS sympathizer. He allegedly planned to use weapons, including firearms, to kill parishioners, then set their places of worship on fire. The complaint says Macario told an FBI confidential informant he would harm his father and steal his firearms. Then, quote, kill as many people as possible, then move on to the next church, rinse and repeat for all 21-plus churches in town until killed. What the FBI usually does is place either a source or an undercover agent into the conversation until the person starts stating they're actually going to launch an attack. This alleged attack eerily similar to a recent ISIS assault on a concert hall in Moscow. 
A recently released intelligence bulletin warning ISIS operatives and sympathizers worldwide might respond to that attack in Russia and encourage radicals to attack public venues. Authorities also concerned about rage ignited by the Israel-Hamas war. We continue to be concerned about individuals or small groups drawing some kind of twisted inspiration from the events in the Middle East to carry out attacks here at home. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. Now again, that suspect is in custody. He's expected to make his first appearance in court tomorrow. If convicted, he could face up to 20 years in prison. Today, a landmark decision in a Michigan courtroom. The parents of a mass shooter have both been sentenced to at least 10 years in prison. Four teenagers were killed and seven other people were injured at Oxford High School in November of 2021. At the time, the shooter was 15 years old. His parents were convicted of involuntary manslaughter for leaving a gun unsecured at home and indifference to their son's mental health. Before the sentencing today, the court heard from parents of the victims of that school shooting. They chose to ignore the warning signs. And now, as we've heard through all of the objections, <coughs> they continue to choose to blame everyone but themselves. While you were hiding, I was planning her funeral. And while you were running away from your son and your responsibilities, I was forced to do the worst possible thing a parent could do. I was forced to say goodbye to my medicine. It is not clear if the shooter's parents will appeal the sentence. Both spoke in court today saying they didn't realize anything was wrong, despite having a meeting with school officials hours before the shooting. The shooter, now 17, is serving life in prison. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was supposed to face the next step towards going on trial in the Senate tomorrow. We've now learned that's likely to be delayed until next week. So House lawmakers voted to impeach Mayorkas over his handling of the situation at the southern border. He is the first cabinet secretary to face that formal rebuke in almost 150 years. But the way impeachment works, the House effectively files charges. The Senate then holds a trial and the Senate is not expected to convict Mayorkas. It has been more than a year since a train derailment on the border of Pennsylvania and Ohio, sending a huge plume of smoke and chemicals into the environment. Now, Norfolk Southern, the company that owned the train, has agreed to a $600 million settlement to resolve all of the class action lawsuits from people within 20 miles of the derailment. More than a million pounds of hazardous chemicals were spilled into the soil, water, and air. Norfolk Southern has not uh, admitted to any liability or wrongdoing. The settlement still needs to be approved by a court. The EPA just announced new rules to protect communities near certain factories. More than 100,000 Americans live within six miles of factories that release toxic chemicals, which increases their risk of getting cancer. One new rule cuts the amount of hazardous pollutants that factories are allowed to release. The rule will also require real-time air monitoring at the perimeter of the company properties. That will alert companies when hazardous air pollutants are leaking from their plants. Well, wildfire season is fast approaching and the West Valley Fire Department wants to make sure that your home is safe. Though through the state's Wildfire Ready Neighbors program, local firefighters are able to assess the outside of your home for any hazards that could increase the chances of your home catching fire if a wildfire gets close this summer. Anybody living out in West Valley can get an assessment for free, but this year, Firefighters tell us they are focused on the Tampico area. Our goal is to try to uh, survey 81 homes between now and June 30th. Now West Valley Fire will be out at their station 54 in Tampico on April 21st with firefighters ready to go out and do same day inspections. You can also call the fire department or go to wildfireready.com to schedule a visit. Today, Arizona's Supreme Court signed off on allowing the state to enforce an anti-abortion law from 1864, which was decades before Arizona actually became a state. The Arizona Supreme Court decided even though the abortion ban predates Arizona statehood, it can still be enforced starting two weeks from now. The 1864 law does not have any exceptions to 
allow abortions in cases of rape or incest, and the state Supreme Court's decision is almost certain to be appealed. Springtime is always beautiful in this part of our state, and it's a favorite for photographers. Always. <laughs> We're talking about that as we fly the Northwest still ahead. And taking a look outside, we are talking about a gorgeous sunset. The Dust Devils are just getting their home opener started, but it is windy out there. Stacey Lee has your first alert forecast next. This newscast sponsored by Washington State Department of Revenue's Working Families Tax Credit. Thinking I should bring back my 100% all-white meat popcorn chicken combos for $6.99? You're in luck. I did. If you weren't thinking that, I bet you are now. My popcorn chicken combos are only $6.99. Get them sauced and loaded for just a buck more. Welcome to Jack in the Box. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry. I'm giving you fix. A water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer. The world's best. Put your water worries to rest. Time for a new roof? Let m and Roof and replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace a roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Make your first move with battery power made by steel. Right now, save $50 on the KMA 80R combi motor or the HSA 50 hedge trimmer. Real steel. An accident can shatter your life. The award-winning team at Tamaki Law can put your life back together. I'm attorney Brian Smith. And I'm attorney Megan Hale. Thank you for voting us Yakima's first choice for personal injury, civil law, and best overall law firm. We are honored and grateful to be part of this amazing community. If you've been seriously injured, call Tamaki Law and get your life back. We wondered, where do people do their banking? So, we asked. I bank at Hapo. <laughs> Hapo's my bank. I've been a member of Hapo since I was 10 years old, 60 years. I bank at Hapo Community Credit Union. I'm with Hapo. You're not just a number there, you know, you're treated really well. I feel like they're part of my community. It's easy, it's convenient, and I don't know, I just love the people there. I guess the question we should be asking is, where do you credit union? Join Hapo Community Credit Union today. My family's been serving the Tri-Cities for 85 years at Griggs and the Tri-Cities Ace stores. And we have some deals we don't want you to miss. Choose from these long-handled garden tools at only $19.99. miracle Grow Garden Soil save 42%. Two bags for $10. This premium garden hose is a steal at $29.99. Triple 16 fertilizer, the lowest price around, only $24.88. See all of the deals by using this QR code. So come see us at Griggs and your Tri-Cities Ace stores, and thank, thank you, you for, for your, your business. business. Get two of my egg and cheese biscuits with a freshly cracked egg any time of the day for just four bucks. Yep, that's two biscuits for just four bucks. Two for four bucks. Two for four. I said it four times, you know, because you can get two biscuits for four bucks. Welcome to Jack in the Box. All right, welcome back to the area's only local news during the 6.30 half hour. The Palouse is a place with great soil and a great landscape beginning just east of Walla Walla and going all the way to Idaho. Tonight, as we fly the Palouse in spring, with help from Eastern Washington photographer Nick Brommer. Take a look. You know, we live in a great landscape here. There's lots of different places. Everybody gravitates towards the river and downtown but you'll always find photographers up on top of Steptoe Butte taking shots of the Palouse. There's something about the lay of the land, the way the hills roll, the way the light plays on it. It just draws every photographer nationwide to that area. 
it is this time of year when you go up there and it's just those rolling green hills. You get a little bit of wind motion over it. And if you're up there at the beginning of sunset or sunrise, the way that light plays across those rolling hills and the wind going across that the wheat fields, it's an, just an amazing shot. It's hard to go wrong up there. You never know if you've really got it till you get it home. Sometimes you snap it and you look in the camera, it looks great, and you get it home on the computer, maybe it's not what you wanted. But there's always that one moment where you take it on your computer and you see it in a nice big colorful monitor and you're like, that's the one. There's a history down there that you can't replicate. You can't replicate an old barn. And there's something about just the textures and the qualities and how the weather has changed over time that nothing compares. You know, there's a great variety down there just because there's not only the landscape, there's always that sense of history in every one of those small communities. There's something very personal about it when you're standing there. When you're taking a drone up, it's wonderful aerials, but you can replicate actually standing on top of that view. Beautiful. If you'd like to see more of Nick Brommer's photos, check out his Facebook page or his website at Nick Brommer. That's N-I-C-K-B as in boy, Brommer, photography.com. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And we do love the Palouse. What a beautiful place. Now we've been tracking breezy and gusty winds, still seeing that. Now these are sustained winds blowing around 26 miles an hour, gusting up over 30, close to 40 miles an hour this evening in Ellensburg. Still seeing some strong gusty winds here in the Hermiston area. Things are still breezy here in the Columbia Basin, but we'll be calming down. Let's take a look at our future cast. We still stay a little bit breezy in those mountain gap areas around Yakima, but things really start to calm down as you get into the Columbia Basin along the foothills of the blues looking pretty good tomorrow morning light breezy winds in the early morning but overall a nice calm day ahead of us uh, on the allergy front not so much we're going to see those high pollen counts uh, right on through wednesday and they start to decrease just slightly but up we are in the throngs of spring and uh, we're seeing some spring baseball check that out dust devils with their home opener they are on the field i can't tell who's who Maybe it looks like a dust devil on first base. Yeah, let's see if they get a hit. Anyway, 69 degrees on our dust devil sky cam. There will be some fireworks after the game tonight, so be aware of that. 69 degrees and our sunset tonight at 737. Temperatures elsewhere in the region, 40s in Clee Ellum. We're dropping into the 50s right now in Ellensburg. Low to mid 60s in the Yakima Valley, down into the Columbia Basin. Still warm in the mid to upper 60s. 55 right now in Dayton. Weather pattern, well, we had a little bit of moisture mainly on the west side with some light snow in the northern blues. We picked up a couple of inches overnight in the southern portion of the blues in Washington State. But here's that weather pattern going through the evening, clearing on out that upper level system. Now we do have another system brewing out on the west. That's mainly going to impact the west side of the state, but we could see some moisture out of that. Our temperature trend, look at this. We're heading up to the 70s. We'll be uh, well over 10 degrees above the average in Yakima beginning Saturday. Until then, we're sitting just slightly above average in the Tri-Cities, moving up to 77 by Saturday and staying warm and then calming, uh, cooling back down as we get into the first part of next week. 75 Walla Walla on Saturday. You're well over 10 degrees above the average. So something to go look forward to in the next couple of days. Partly cloudy. Winds are decreasing tonight. Most of our areas in the 30s tonight. 38 Walla Walla, 37 Tri-Cities, a chilly 32 in Ellensburg, 34 tonight in Yakima. For tomorrow, grab your shades. Going to be not lots of sunshine much calmer winds temperatures in the 60s here close to 70 if not hitting 70 in the Columbia Basin possibly in Hermiston and those mid and upper 60s there in the Yakima Valley let's plan things out with our seven day planning forecast overall not good a little bit overcast on Thursday as that system pushes through above average temperatures into the weekend check it out looks pretty good tri cities we're going to see those temperatures hitting the 70s little overcast with a slight chance of showers on Friday those temperatures above the average both Saturday and Sunday, and we cool back down uh, the first part of next week. Now we have some spotty thunder showers possible on Friday afternoon or evening as that system rolls through our area in the Walla Walla area or the foothills, at least the Blue Mountains. That's 
quite possible and some rain possibly coming up on Tuesday. But enjoy the weekend with those temperatures hitting the mid and upper 70s. I like that. Here's what it looks like in Hermiston. Winds will finally decrease for you guys. A little overcast Thursday, Friday. Temperatures above average on Saturday and then we come and cool down as we get to the week. So you know what? Not a bad looking forecast. I'm happy the wind is going to decrease tomorrow and I'm looking forward to that sunshine. I hope you are too. We are also looking forward to today's uh, viewer photo of the day. It's coming up. Austin. All right, we'll see that in just a bit. Thank you, Stacey. Cool shot there of the Dust Devils taking on Spokane, the Indians. Well, that spring weather has a lot of people thinking about getting out in the garden, but doctors say there are a few precautions you need to take, and we're not just talking about sunscreen. Details right after this. When you need legal help for your injuries, you don't need hassles. You need someone who knows his way around the courtroom. If you've been injured and want to know what your rights are, call 735-0546. Call now. They're waiting to help you. Hi, I need new tires. Perfect timing. Right now during our tire savings event, when you buy three tires, you get the fourth for only a dollar. Wow, that's a great deal. Right? Can you imagine finding a tire for less? Sorry, honey. Mama needs this tire. <laughs> No, definitely not. No. Let's get you those tires. Okay. Right now, during our tire savings event, buy three tires and get the fourth for only a dollar. Toyota Service Centers. Keep your Toyota a Toyota. Have you heard about Refractive Lens Exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently. And you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day, sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com. <laughs> So, all of us are here to talk about trading. Right now at US Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No kid, you don't have to trade. See, $830 off any phone at US Cellular. No trade-in needed. You drive a hard bargain. Boom, chocolate milk. You don't have to trade. I'll take the chocolate milk. Okay. Get $830 off any phone. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. How long do I have to wait? Watch Thursday at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health, your five-star rated hospital. This is how we care. Enjoy bowling here at Triple Play, where fun is always in season. French fries are fun, which is always in season here at Triple Play. Speaking of fun, did you know it's always in season at Triple Play? Dude, what's with dropping the tagline? The marketing ladies wanted me to push it. What did they offer you? Five pizzas. Gonna share, right? Of course. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including go-karts, mini golf, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. Oh, thanks. Mm. You know, when winning a close race, the one in first place usually demonstrates a small difference in quality from the competition. It's the little things that count. So the more we pay attention to detail, the more confident we are. And the more confident we are, the more we win. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Windermere Group One. Welcome back. It's that time of year to get out and start getting the garden ready. It's also great exercise. The doctors say you will need to treat it like a workout, especially if you've been sitting inside all winter. It's nice to get outside, have the benefits of sunshine, have the benefits of the beauty and the, the really tasty stuff that can come from your garden. Dr. Deborah Benzel with Cleveland Clinic says gardening has numerous health benefits, but you need to prepare your body before you get started. Stretch, then focus on not bending over too much and avoid picking things up from a bent over position. Um, there's a lot of bending and lifting and caring involved in gardening and all of those things put a lot of stress on our neck and our back. Rotate your body regularly to avoid stiff muscles, lift heavy things with your legs, and avoid sudden twisting or reaching motions. Also make sure you're using the proper gardening equipment. 
You want to use tools that fit your body and that are sharp and that are effective so that you can have the tool do the work whether, rather than your body do the work. And once you're done, it's time to stretch again. If you're feeling achy, Benzel says to try some ice or anti-inflammatory medicine. You can get up and get back in the garden the next day. Well, we are seeing some gardening weather out there this evening. We'll have a final look at your forecast and your viewer picture of the day when we come back. Six o'clock bogey. Did you say burger? Because I can go for a burger. I'm not talking about burger. Roger that. Fire now. Need burger? Get burger. Spicy Western bacon cheeseburger. Only at Carl's Jr. This is going to be delicious. Tomorrow, GMA's in search of America's best comfort food. From sweets to burgers, tacos, fried chicken, mac and cheese. Oh, my mouth's watering just reading this promo. Will we be at your favorite comfort food spot? It's one tasty week on GMA. Buenos dias. I'm Eddie Garcia, and we're building this house. Hey, I'm Tanya Galvez. I work at Par Lumber. And we supply Eddie with all the materials he needs. Par. Your total home building source since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? Every 15 minutes, someone is involved in a semi-truck collision in the U.S. Whatever the cause, big trucks mean big crashes, resulting in serious, even fatal injuries, large medical bills, and loss of wages. If you've been injured in a crash with a big rig, call a Beta Nelson Injury Law today. We've handled the most big truck accidents in Central Washington over the last 40 years, recovering millions for our clients. A Beta Nelson, we take your injury personally. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our Players Club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. I'm a martial artist, a skydiver, a pilot, and all of them require your feet to work. Get up in the morning and it felt like I was standing on marbles on my heel. When I went into the Good Feet store, the fitting was personalized. It was all about me. You put in the art supports and your day becomes better and the sun shines, the unicorns run by and, you know, it's a good life. I'm Randy and that's my Good Feet story. See for yourself with a free personalized art support fitting at the Good Feet store. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and Replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and Replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want in your yard. Oh boy, look at that Carl's Jr. burger. Bacon, jalapenos, beef, cheese, bacon, beef. Five dollars on the app? What? Another burger? Lettuce, cheese, melty, delicious pickle. You gotta be kidding. Barbecue, soft drip, crunchy onion rings. Five dollars? I'm burger rich. Need burger? Get burger. Yeah. Hello there. Watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back, Stacey. I've just been enjoying that sunset that we're seeing on the sky right. camera tonight. The sunset, the nice, and if the wind would cooperate, which it will... Um, but let's take a look at our weather photo. This was uh, from our friend Alan. He likes to walk along the Columbia River at Howard Amon Park and, and the uh, cruise ship was Ooh. back in town. I'm not sure which cruise ship that is. I'm not sure either. But it looks pretty fancy and yeah. uh, well, he had a nice little sunrise to capture that. So uh, anyway, cruise ship. Yep, hmm. they come through and yeah. they do dock at Howard Amon and do a little uh, cruising around. So great picture. Again, if you want to get your weather photo on the air, just like Alan, take a little quick shot of that QR code on the right hand side of your screen or you can go to applevalleynewsnow.com. Click on the weather tab and you'll see where you can submit photos quickly before we go tonight. Let's plan your day tomorrow. I like the looks of that forecast for ooh, tomorrow. Ooh. Mostly sunny skies, a few clouds maybe in the afternoon, but overall looking great out there. Winds will be much better, so enjoy the sunshine. Remember, those pollen counts are still high, though. <laughs> Definitely stock up on the allergy medication. <laughs> I've been sneezing a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Stacey, and thank you so much for watching. You can always find the latest on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Good night. Good night.